Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining us here today on the campus of Quincy University. We are excited that we are joined today to announce the beginning of two new major programs at Quincy University. And to begin, I'd like to introduce to you our president, Dr. Brian McGee. Good morning, all welcome, and it's always a good day to be a hawk, but this is one of those especially good days. I'd like to note that we have some guests with us and some distinguished members of our community as well. So I'd like to always note that the chair of our board of trustees is here, Mr. Delmer Mitchell. We're I'm all in favor of uh, applauding Dell, but let's hold applause for the rest of this distinguished group, or we'll be here uh, a bit uh, for a, for a good while. Uh, also with us, a current QU trustee and CEO of Dot Family Holdings, uh, Joe Tracy, uh, Mandar Digi, uh, Digay, who is vice president of marketing and sales for Napide and a mechanical engineer, has joined us today. That'll make more sense in a moment for some of you. Uh, Chris Weiss, who is, um, you know, you know, who is Vice President of Engineering at Napide, is all also with us. Tony Crane, a former uh, QU trustee and a prominent architect and community leader, along with a former being a former officer of Architechnics, an architectural and engineering firm, is with us today. So my thanks to all of those distinguished guests and trustees for being with us. In addition, several members of the cabinet are here. Uh, Mark Streaker, our Chief uh, Financial Officer and Vice President of Business Affairs. Uh, Tom Oliver, our Vice President for Enrollment Management. Josh Raby, our Director of Intercollegiate Athletics. And Father John Doctor, who is Vice President of Mission and Ministry. I always remind everyone that Father John is more important than I am, and since he's across the hallway from me, he'll hurt me if I don't say that. Uh, we have several folks following along on YouTube today. Uh, I'd like to particularly welcome on YouTube Dr. Sarah Vortreed Patton, who is Dean of the School of Natural Sciences and Mathematics at Columbia College. Uh, Dr. Vortreed Patton is going to become Quincy University's Provost and Vice President for Academic Affairs beginning in July 2023, following the retirement of our current Vice President of Academic Affairs, Dr. Uh, Teresa Reed. Special recognition today, of course, to Dr. Reed and to several QU faculty whose work has made today's announcements possible. At QU, past announcements about new undergraduate or graduate academic programs have taken up such important topics as Catholic and Christian theology, the humanities, fine arts, social sciences, education, business, or the health sciences. Today, though, we'll have a different focus. From the first days of instruction by the Franciscan friars, QU has had a strong commitment to the sciences and mathematics in the curriculum. Our programs in science, technology, and mathematics have for generations been led by talented Franciscan and lay faculty, and the graduates of those programs have gone on to lives of impact, meaning, and purpose, consistent with our Catholic and Franciscan values. It's not an accident that this particular announcement, focusing as it does on science and math, is being made today. Because Anyone know what today is around the world? Pi Day. P-I, not P-I-E. And Pi Day is celebrated, not surprisingly, on March 14th. Or if you're really cool, you'll celebrate it down to the minute on March 14th at 1.59 p.m. Okay, that was funny in math circles. <laughs> calculation of Pi over 2,000 years ago began the journey that led to the modern teaching of calculus, which in turn is the foundation of much of our modern science, technology, and engineering. Today's announcement seems ideally suited for Pi Day. We hear much today about student interest in STEM and the need for additional professionals with degrees and expertise in STEM, meaning science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Fortunately, student interest in STEM fields continues to grow, but we continue to have great need in the United States and in the tri-state region for more professionals in STEM careers. Joining us today is Kyle Moore, who's, uh, who represents Gretif, the Great Rivers Economic Development uh, Foundation. And Kyle can tell you that our local data strongly support the notion that we need more professionals in STEM. QU has long produced graduates in science, technology, and mathematics, and many of those graduates work today in local and regional business and industry. However, for many decades and until today, QU has not helped to address the pressing need for more engineers. The key words in that last sentence, one more time, were until today. 
I am pleased to announce that beginning in August 2024, Quincy University will offer undergraduate major degree programs in electrical engineering and mechanical engineering. These two classical engineering degree programs are essential to the success of modern manufacturing, including robotics, automation, and supply chain management. And we have been told repeatedly at Quincy University that there is need for more students and graduates in these majors. We expect engineering to become a central feature of our academic offerings at QU for many generations to come. From our beginnings, Quincy University has always offered a rigorous and demanding combination of offerings in the liberal arts and the professions. The addition of engineering at QU is the latest example of our commitment to this great tradition. We will begin recruiting high school sophomores and juniors to our new engineering programs immediately. We are excited about what they will do for this community, for the businesses in this city and in this region, and we cannot wait to see this work bear fruit in the very near future. I'd like to now uh, yield the lectern uh, for a few minutes to Joe Tracy. Joe is a current QU trustee. He is the CEO of Dot Family Holdings, and he's a lifelong supporter of Catholic education. Joe? Thank you, Brian. Uh, you know, I speak for all the employers in the region when I say that, you know, I'm excited about the fact that QU is making this announcement today. Um, we really need a lot more engineers in the region. I've spent my entire life uh, building the Dot Foods business, uh, and I can tell you that although we've had a lot of success, we've had a lot of growth, uh, talent has been our biggest barrier to growth. And those talent needs are changing over time. A lot of our jobs aren't as desirable uh, as they have been in the past. Uh, manual labor jobs are not something that uh, many people seek. And we turn to automation solutions to really fill that gap so that we can continue to grow our business. Um, and it takes a, a lot of different talent really to do that. And we need more talent in this region to continue to grow the business. And we don't, we don't really turn to automation solutions to reduce jobs. We really turn to automation solutions to reduce the burden on adding jobs to help support and grow the business. And so we're excited to work, be working with QU. Uh, we look forward to hiring a lot of this different talent in the region. We think this is a wonderful place to raise a family and to build a career. And uh, we hope to do that with uh, much of the talent that you develop over time. Thank you. Thank you, Joe. For QU, what this means in the near future is a close working relationship with our community, beginning with our employers. That means we expect that these students will be the, the beneficiaries of the expertise of this region in the form of guest speakers, of internships, and of other, uh, and of other work to integrate our curriculum and the good work of the university with engineering students with the needs and the expertise and the very considerable talent of our business community. In addition, we will be, you know, in order to formalize these connections, we expect to have formed an engineering advisory council to make sure we have those close and continuing connections. Yeah, and to do so with people like Mike Klingner, who's, who just, who's, who's been with us, as well as some professionals I just noted. In addition, um, this requires us to make some changes in classrooms, so in the near future, those of you who know and love our campus community uh, should also know that we'll be making some renovations in order to facilitate the needs of our engineering students, beginning with new lab space uh, on our North Campus. QU is an innovative institution. As a small university, we can't solve all the workforce development needs of the Tri-State region, but every local school, college, and university needs to do its part, and we all have a role to play. We're proud to be doing what we can at QU to meet this need, and as I said a moment ago, we can't wait to get started. And finally, I'd be remiss if I didn't recognize the first visionary faculty member who sought to make QU a center for science and engineering. Dr. Erhard Kuster, a Franciscan, taught at Quincy College for 28 years and single-handedly built our first engineering programs during World War II. During World War II. That program only lasted during the war years, but we honor Father Coaster's entrepreneurial spirit and his service to our community. We're building today on Father Coaster's work. 
Thank you to everyone who's here. We're so grateful for your work. We're so grateful for your time, and we're happy to take any questions now or in individual interviews.